dearest Homs and Nopon representatives, my humble gratitude for accepting our invitation. I am Kalyan Antiqua, regent of the Hyentia. We all know who you are. You Hyentia have kept yourselves safe, remaining spectators to our destruction. Why call upon us now? As stated in my invitation, it is our intention to form an allied force from the peoples of Bionis, with which we will confront Mekonis. <laughs> Look at you. One little scratch and you're already crying for help. I cannot deny this. The attack did serve as the catalyst. But the fact remains that things have changed. When we needed help at the Battle of Sword Valley, our cries were ignored. Give me one good reason why we should bother. Ah. I understand your anger. Our selfishness was inexcusable. However, please hear what I have to say. Listen to why our stance has changed. <laughs> Stop talking if you like, but no promises we'll stick around to the end. We High Entia were mistaken. We believed that if we were attacked by the Mekon, our power alone could repel them. But a brave group of young heroes showed us the error of our ways. When the Mekon descended upon Aerith Sea, Shulk fought with a courage I have never seen. I was most surprised to see that this group was comprised of different races. Homs, Nopon, High Entia. Although different, they trusted one another as friends. As just one inhabitant of Bionis, I desired to... No, I felt compelled to become strong like them. Their strength came from the Monado. Bravery only gets you so far in this world. Then you will not join us? Hold your horses, son. I said they didn't win with bravery alone, but they wouldn't have got far without it. All right, you can count on our help. The Nopon will join too. The Hom Hom and Bird people are friends of the Nopon. We will fight together. Dixon, are you leaving? Yeah. It's just I felt this sudden pain in the neck. Is that your response? Don't go jumping the gun there, Prince. I'll leave the colony's forces with old Atharon here. You can use them however you want. I've got somewhere I need to be. Might I ask where? A battle's more than just a head-on assault. The sooner you realize that, the better. I better go and remind Shulk and all. So you know of their whereabouts? I told you. I've got a pretty good idea. Dixon! Yeah? If you should meet Shulk... What? I have something I want you to tell him. us to kill your son that is no small request there are hardly any of us machina left or mechonis back when the bionis and the mechonis were fighting the bionis almost completely wiped us out i suppose the bionis just didn't want us around lady mayneth fought the bionis for us in the end the two titans wounded each other and entered a deep slumber who was lady mayneth the creator of mechonis you could say that she is the Mechonis itself. You talk like you saw all this. Ain't this all just an ancient myth? <laughs> I know I look young, but I'm actually quite old. I saw the whole thing with my own eyes. You can't be serious. The people of Mechonis must have a longer lifespan. Just like we High End here live far longer than Homs. I get that, but you can't live that long. But why do you want your son dead? From what you've told us, I would have thought you'd want us to destroy the Bionis rather than kill your own son. Agil was a brilliant young man. Clever, strong, and kind to the less able. But he never forgave the Bionis for what it did, and he swore to take revenge. So he wants to do to us what the Bionis did to the Machina? Correct. Agil is trying to eradicate all innocent life on Bionis. He has to be stopped. Didn't you ever try to stop him? We tried once. A lot of people were killed. 
He's blinded by revenge. Even Lady Maynard herself couldn't convince him to stop. Where is Egil now? Most likely the Mekonis capital. He's trying to restore its former glory all by himself. I feel sorry for him. Oi! What are you talking about? Did you forget what he did to us? I haven't forgotten or forgiven. But Egil's clearly suffered a loss in his life. You don't feel any sympathy at all? All I know is, this stinks. Who cares what he's been through? Rhine! I understand about Egil. But why us? You should be aware that Shulk's sword, the Monado, has the power to destroy Mekonis weaponry. It's said that it was once the sword of the Pionis. Doesn't the very sight of it make you quiver? Zant. Huh? Oh, just talking to myself. If you're gonna kill Egil, you'll need all of that sword's power. That's how strong Egil is. But enough talk. You must be tired. Take your time and think it over. Until the young lady's treatment is finished, feel free to spend time in our village. <laughs> She has done well to survive such injury. What do you mean? Is she sick? Since you seem to have knowledge of Homs medicine, I'll explain it like this. I'm afraid she's had several of her organs removed. Am I correct in assuming she was configured to operate inside a Mekon? That's right. She has been transformed into a Mekon's central nerve unit. Her blood can now circulate through a Mekon's components. How? I believe her immune system is now configured for compatibility with the Mekon. That's why her strength has depleted. But you can treat her, can't you? Please. Of course. Even as a Machina doctor, I cannot turn a blind eye to this butchery. With our equipment, she will regain her strength, but she will be stuck with this body. I cannot restore her flesh and blood, Hom's body. That's okay. I don't want to be a burden to Shulk. I don't care if I have a machine body. Just make it so I can fight beside him. Fiora, leave it to me. If that is your wish, I'll do my best. I must implant a new circulation system for her immune functions. But we have one problem. A problem? I don't have a piezoelectric unit, which is required to control such a system. As long as she remains on this bed, the life support machine can compensate. But to move around freely, she must have the piezoelectric unit. The same unit is used in Mekon, so if you were to find some Mekon parts... But where? Well, outside of the village at the base of Digit 5, there's a beach. Debris from above washes the shore there. You might be able to find one among the Mekon wreckage. We'll take a look. The beach at the base of Digit 5, right? Yes. It gives off a faint red glow, so it might be easier to find at night. And together, Eren the Black Dragon's back! And welcome all of you to another part of Xenoblade Chronicles. So, last episode... We've got everyone together, we landed ashore at the Machina place. And in this episode, I'm gonna take talk to you, not take to you, but also I'm gonna take to you. Hi, down there, Ricky. And apparently we are going to get some parts so that Fiora can fully function again. So, hi, Melia, also down there. So, that is something we are going to do. Also, I'm gonna switch around my party again. And um, as you can see, we don't have Shala, and we don't have Fiora in the party. So this is the party that we have. I actually want to play as Ricky again, and I want to have Ryan in the party instead of Dunman this time. I want to keep those two in the party because I need some healers. Because we're gonna have to deal with some, let's say, strong enemies in here. That was the wrong way. I'm terribly sorry that I went in there without permission. 
even though you don't care about that. So our quest marker uh, uh, seems to send us up this way. So we will go out there and take a look at that. But before we're gonna do that, um, where was it? You were up there, weren't you? Yes, up here is the store and I'm gonna take a quick look in here if I can find something that I need. So, we are fully stocked up with things that I wanna have, so now let's leave the Magna Village and try to find the component part that we need to make Fiora function again. Whoa, camera! Go easy there! So, going this way, because the other way around actually is not that beneficial to us, and also I wanted to go to this wreckage right here, giant mech on debris. So yeah, that's actually a landmark and it looks really nice. So there are some enemies, level 55, nothing too harsh. But there are also mech on, some prototypes. Gonna try to mostly ignore fighting because we tried to save Fiora's life. So we need to make haste, at least. That's what I always try to think that we need to do. So we are at digit 1. Seriously? Ay 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 ay. Dealt with you. Shouldn't have attacked us, really. But thanks for the golden treasure chest. I really appreciate it. So, there's no way for me to get around here. So we have to swim a little bit. But we can swim, so that's not the problem. It's just... I think swimming... Is not really slower than running. At least I don't think so. But it really feels like you are slower than when you're running. So getting around here, somewhere around here also should be a place that I can get up on the shore again. And I think over there it is a little place. But I'm gonna collect my item orbs because I want them ether penguin. That sounds cute. Yeah, over there is a shore. An oil o oyster, that doesn't sound as cute. But yeah, over there. Ooh, okay, that's also just a normal guy. Was con uh, concerned there for a second, but doesn't seem to be necessary. So, okay, no, you don't. You guys just stay up here? Okay, goddamn you. Hey, needing to deal with so many of you guys, you're really a nuisance more than anything else else okay where's that part it's over there and what is over there a unit that runs around and some guys and one is just flying in there can i focus to you yes a legendary creature so that's actually the big problem right there so can i come over here i need you On only you so had to deal with those guys as well because they tried to join in Annoying. So now there's the problem. I need to get to this part without that guy recognizing me because he is a bit too strong for me. So I'm going to try to take those guys. Come over here. Follow me. Don't stop following. Yes, come on. And here we are now. That seems like... No! Well, great. Okay, now I take my chance. They are running back and I got it. Thank you. Where did the other one go? I tried it for a while now to get both of them here. For some odd reason they went into the water and then they... We uh, started to go back and now I fought against the little one only. The big one was not done yet and the big one's gone now. So, very strange. But whatever, I have the part that we want. So, let's go back to the Magna Village. I think we found it. Is this the Paizo Electric Unit? Yes, that's it. Well done. Leonardo. will Fiora be okay now? She'll be fine. It will just take me a little time to reconfigure and install the unit. Leave it to me. You get some rest. But... Shulk, do you want her to see you looking exhausted when she wakes up? You're right. I'll try and get some rest. 
Thank you for everything you're doing. Uh, by the way... Yes? The Chief says he wants to speak with you. I think it's about Egil. I'll go and see him. He wants Egil stopped. And so do we. But I need to sleep on it. Good. You mustn't overburden yourself. We will help you in any way we can. Thank you. Well, so I'm going to leave this episode right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, how about a comment down below? I really would appreciate that. And I hope to see all of you to the next part of Xenoblade Chronicles. So, bye!